a resident of Mbarara municipality. Mary Mbabazi has been a livestock farmer for about 20 years. Mbabazi has few crossbreed cows using the zero grazing system. Mbabazi is a widow and her five cows are the major source of income for the family. Through milk and selling cows and what, I managed to build this good house. But for the last three years, drug resistant ticks have been a main impediment to the productivity of the cows. Baba says she had a pesticide that would instantly kill the ticks, but it's no longer on the market. The moment we were, we are using with the a calcide which kills flies and the ticks, but now you can't get it. You can walk from down up to up, walking, looking for that calcide, but it's nowhere to be seen. Even I went to Kampara, there is no that calcide. They told me that if you can, you can go to Kenya. She believes that if government moves in, farm commitment, this problem can be resolved. But the government can go into and make sure that we get a good quality of our side. A number of farmers we spoke to said the problem of drug resistant ticks was widespread. Other farmers argue that poor disease management is the cause of increased resistance to drugs by ticks. I think we are diverting away from the main issue. The main issue is how do you manage your acaricide. There are very small, small management issues on our farms that people overlook. For instance, when you pass a number of animals through either a deep tank or a spray race, you are supposed to top up the drug. But many people don't. When they top up, they add water. In, in essence, they are diluting. The farmers are asking government to do more to solve this problem. Because in Kenya, it is government that determines which district uses which drug. And that's why they are able to manage their the, the, the tick control there is, is, is really robust, but here it is up to farmers, you use whatever you think you can afford and you abandon it any time you feel you should abandon it. And in a way we have created a tribe of, of, of I think, of ticks. Moses Dixoka, a livestock research officer at the National Agricultural Research Organization based in Barara, agrees that ticks are still a major problem which they are working to resolve. In this area it is true we have observed that some of the farmers that are around our institution, Naro, have issues to do with the ticks. Many times when we visit them, we find many ticks and they are complaining that the current archives do not work. Of course, we have seen the ticks after they have sprayed, but at our institute itself, we use similar acaricides and we, don't, we do not have a problem. Dick Soka says that some farmers don't know how to handle ticks and this sometimes compounds the problem. The only challenge is that handling tick-borne problems using one avenue, it, that's where the problem comes in. Most farmers think that when animals fall sick, they have to treat and that's the end of it. Handling tick-borne problems should be a complement, should be a, a sum total of different methods. You have to look into spraying the animals, feeding, feeding them very well so they have good health because healthy animals can resist disease better. You have to look into um, ensuring that even where they graze, you do rotational grazing. So it is a thought of many, many other factors that a farmer needs to know. Tick bone diseases like East Coast fever or tick fever have been reported in the region. And uh, as an institution, we have it as one of the main items on our agenda, although it may not be the first one. Since tick bone infections, if you have got good, diagnos good diagnostic um, capabilities in the region, you take blood samples, identify the cause, they can easily be treated. Tick soccer sensitizes farmers on tick management to guarantee the safety of the animals. It is very important that when you are spraying using a given acaricide, you observe the regime of that acaricide. If it's an organophosphate, you should not do it after two weeks. If they say do it after every one week or three days, follow the regime and avoid adding more acaricide 
which is more in the container more than what is supposed to be added there. The risk you are going to follow into is that your ticks in your environment will get used to high concentrations and whenever there are issues it will be difficult to bring them back and then you have complaints that these archive sites do not work. So I'm requesting, I'm encouraging farmers to revisit their spraying techniques by observing the manufacturer's protocols. The signs of tick fever include weakness, restlessness, and loss of appetite in the animal. Dick Soka says, I think fever may clear after a short while, but the bull's fertility may be compromised for at least one breeding season. Besides, the treatment costs may be unaffordable for some farmers. The affected cow may also produce less milk. Ivan Chimlichigozi, NTV on the farm.